So let's go from uh, Felix and Kate, your pas de deux. Okay, and this opportunity came out of something that Greta asked me to do. She asked me to create a solo for her originally for uh, something that she had outside of the National Ballet. At that time, I was flirting around with a lot of literature about existentialism and then Being in Nothingness was one of the books that I was reading at the time. It talked about how we all sort of paced some kind of imaginary reflection of ourselves and tried to live up to that reflection um, our entire lives. So I thought that was a really beautiful kind of idea to develop for a solo, for a single woman. It was this idea of her doing a pas de deux with a light bulb, a very intricate combination of simple movements, which is ultimately what I thought the book of Being in Nothingness was kind of uh, on the theme of, because I felt like it was very complex themes, but on very, very simple ways of describing the same thing. I decided to develop this as a longer work and I got this opportunity from Karen to, uh, to do this in this program. So just for today, Michael, they're gonna move the table, they're gonna move the, the door downstage because they need some room. I had the idea of asking Michael Levine to come on board because I really love how we work together. So when the set design came in with Michael, then sort of everything kind of unlocked. Uh, we, the concepts and the, the characters and the people. I created every single person from the inside out. I didn't try to impose characters. I didn't walk into a room and say, well, you're gonna be this guy who's really sad and you're gonna be this guy who's really angry. I kind of let it sort of happen naturally. I sort of choreographed some sequences and then saw what happened. We now have five storylines that are beautifully intertwined but don't really connect to each other. It's very cinematic in a way and because Francis Bacon being sort of a thread through out as sort of an inspiration visually, it's kind of these elements floating in nothingness. They're kind of props floating in the midst of a huge dark space. In the same vein, the people live their lives in the same kind of way floating in the void of nothingness, ultimately. When we settled on Francis Bacon and the whole idea of existentialism and also Michael, we decided to go in the period of Sartre. I'm Krista Dowson, costume designer for Being in Nothingness. I was a dancer for 14 years here at the National Ballet of Canada. Guillaume's been really supportive in uh, helping me transition and helping me kind of cut my teeth a little bit uh, because it is a completely different experience and because I am 100% self-taught. Originally with Krista, when we had done the solo for Greta, uh, it was a much smaller job. Uh, so when we went ahead and revisited the concept, then she was really wonderful because we didn't know the extent of what the work was going to be. We try to capture normal people from that time and not couture from that time. This is the costume that Svetlana wears. It's a really nice floral that we ended up with. These are all the men's costumes. Um, Chris built them, he did such a beautiful job. These are the, uh, the core men. They have their names on them and also their status, which is so exciting, done, done. We are developing this piece in such an organic way and in such a way that makes sense to the people dancing it too. 